It's the ticket to tomorrow. When you think of Japan, you think of all the bright lights, the fast-paced city of Tokyo, and the technology. Of course, we still use fax machines here a lot in Japan, but that's besides the point. Today, I am at Akebane Station, where Japan has a pop-up store, which is the first AI store in Tokyo. Now, the store is right here. It is your ticket to tomorrow. It is on platform five and six, which is basically the train going to Tokyo from that way. Now, just like the stores that they've been doing in China and of course, Amazon going to Seattle, well, Japan's catching up and uh, they have their first AI. Nobody's in there. Basically, what you need to do is they have a uh, Suica where you touch to go in. You have to touch to go out after you've purchased your products. And they have about 80 cameras in the ceiling watching your every move. Now, there are people standing at the doors and they've told me that I cannot film inside, but no, let's just see what we can really do. So to go inside the store, I have Suica on my uh, on my phone here, and basically you just touch to beep in. Now you do need uh, one of Japan's Suica cards or Passmo cards to get in. There is no cash. There's nobody inside. So let's go take a look and see what we can do. Okay. All right, as well, I just came out of the store, uh, I got a coffee, uh, it was 143 yen. Um, when you do leave, I did actually did have a bit of a problem, as you could probably have heard, I couldn't really film, but uh, when you touch here, basically, um, you touch, you confirm your purchase. Now, you have to stand on this red square here, and all those cameras that are inside here, as you can see, like all these cameras, there's about 80 of them. Um, they watch your every move, what you pick up, um, but you do need a Suica card basically to get in. It will spit out a receipt, which I think I have somewhere, um, just to confirm your purchase, and then you just leave. So I think it's a pretty cool concept. So I think it's pretty cool. I just thought I'd show you this, guys, because uh, I was just on the train and I saw it and why not film it, right? So, uh, yeah. Let's keep going to where we're going. Hey guys, so as I was editing this video, um, I saw that Eric Surfsick had made the exact same video. Um, and after watching it and seeing my footage, he got the camera inside so i'll leave a link here somewhere and his channel description uh, below go check out that um because he, he did a pretty good job getting some footage inside so just wanted to say that and yeah okay bye
And now through my travels, uh, I just got back to Omia. And right behind me, they actually made a general store rail yard store, um, which is basically a store all about the trains and Shinkansen's. So it's kind of cool that, you know, I saw the, um, the uh, AI store at Akabane. I got to Omia and now I'm finding, uh, if, you, if you're a train buff anyways, this pretty cool looking store here. It looks pretty cool. Uh, let's go take a look. the west side of Omiya Station. I just bought it. I, I don't know what I'm gonna do with it, but uh, for 10 bucks, I just had to. I love the train system, so maybe I'll study. Not sure, but the store is a little busy here. Um, they got all kinds of things. Things for cell phones, to spoons, to writing utensils, books, little toys, kids' umbrellas, all kinds of things. So it's a pretty cool store as I walk away. Um, that's it. How cool is that? Well, if you like trains. Yep, it's Christmas time. Christmas donuts. But I didn't get any. Because I just like the glazed. So yeah, that was it. Uh, Japan's uh, first AI manless convenience store. Not many uh, articles were in there. Now, it's really funny that uh, five minutes later, the Omiya railway store there was pretty cool. So as always, keep it real, keep it raw, stay true to yourself. We'll see you next time.